Sir, it's been three days and Maya's numbers are still climbing. It's too soon to be sure, but I believe she may actually be metabolizing radiation on her own now. Jasper's blood was eight times more effective than any outsider we've ever measured. I'm still running tests, but his system appears to have jump-started hers. You're saying that it's a permanent solution? Maya can survive on the ground? I'm saying it's possible. I'll keep watching her. In the meantime, sir, you have to let me move forward with the rest of the 47. No. Dad, I, I agree with her. I know that the plan was to assimilate them into the gene pool, but this changes everything. She just said it's not proven. Mr. President, even if it's not a permanent solution, with their blood, we'll need fewer treatments. We'll live longer, and we'll feel better. Jasper volunteered. I will not put those kids in cages like animals. No one wants that. If you can convince the rest of them to volunteer, great. But what if you can't? Every day you paint the outside. And if Dr. Singh is right about this, then you might be able to see it again, Dad. Listen to me. You need to understand this. If I give the order to harvest those kids, I won't deserve to see it again. Where are you going? To find you some volunteers. <sighs> You'll come around. What if he doesn't? What if they don't volunteer? Then we'll have to do it anyway. 